Welcome to Parenting Teens with Dr. Cam, a podcast about navigating adolescence without losing our minds. Each week, I guide you around the teenage landmines with practical tips, simple solutions, and words of encouragement. I'm your host, Dr. Cam. Let's get on with the show. Hello, Calm Parents. Good morning. This is Dr. Cam, and today I am going to answer two questions that are almost identical. The first one is, nothing we do makes our daughter happy. She can't, why can't she just accept a comment, advice, suggestion without complaining and pushing back? How can I make her listen and accept what she is being told without an argument? And the second one, I'm tired of having the same argument every day. Our son doesn't respect our rules or opinions until we get really upset with him. We don't expect that much of him, so why can't he just do what we ask him without a fight? It's like talking to a wall. Yes, it would be so much easier if our children would just listen, wouldn't it? This kind of reminds me of what happened this weekend. So I decided that I was going to finally up my curb appeal game my house looked a little like no one lived in it in the front because I don't go out that way very often. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to do something and make it look really nice. So my daughter and I ran over to Home Depot and we picked out a whole cart full of these beautiful lilies and daisies and all kinds of beautiful blossoms that we were going to plant out front around on either side of my door. And we got some mulch and everything to make it look really nice. So we get home, we unload everything, we put it out on the walkway, and then I noticed I needed to dig a trench to put them in. There was nowhere to plant them. So I got out my shovel, and the earth was so tough and so solid that I had to jump up and down on the shovel just to break the surface. And then when I finally did, there were so many rocks and roots and everything that we had to like dig up and get under and get out of there just to make a deep enough trench. It wasn't even that deep to plant these flowers in so that they would really thrive. Why am I bringing this up? Because when we come to our teens, we have these beautiful pictures of how pretty and how wonderful they're going to be, what they're going to see in like what our family life is going to be, what we're going to feel like as a parent. And we just have these gorgeous images. And what we don't realize is we have to dig and work and sweat to create that foundation where they're really going to thrive. And so this is why it often feels like you know, our, our teens are not as easy and as simple as we would often like it to be, right? It would make it so much easier for us if they would just comply, if they would just be obedient, if they would just listen to us the first time and do it. The unfortunate thing is humans are not built this way and teenagers definitely aren't built this way. What we want to remember is that Adolescence is the key period in our lives where we truly figure out who we are as a unique individual, what we believe in, how we show up in the world and how people perceive us. It is also the time in our lives where we learn to problem solve. We learn to think critically. We learn to self-advocate for ourselves. And so all of these times and these interactions with our teens that feel like a struggle, they feel like we're digging up these entrenched stones and trying to cut through these long tangled roots. Those are actually signs of healthy development, as frustrating as they are, because they are now learning to identify and speak up and explain and lean into who they are as a unique individual. What happens is because it's often counter to us, which is purposeful because they need to separate from us, we perceive it as disrespect, as defiance, and it gets us angry and we just want to shut them down. The problem is when we shut them down, we're basically saying you do not have a voice. 
You are not, your opinion and your thoughts and beliefs that you're trying to develop and understand are not valid or accepted here. And we see a lot of people, especially women that are people pleasers. This is where this develops because we find out that we're not allowed to say no. We're not allowed to have a differing opinion. So we just say yes. And then we grumble in our heads, right? Our teens aren't grumbling in their heads yet. They're grumbling out loud because they don't feel heard. Now, this doesn't mean we just let them get away with being disrespectful. We just let them do whatever they want. No, I'm never saying this. What I'm saying is there's a different way to approach this. And actually, I'm going to give you kind of three different ways because right now we're thinking about it wrong. We're thinking about it like this. We're thinking about how do I make my teenager more compliant? How do I make my teenager listen to me without argument? We don't want to think of it this way because that is creating an obedient human being, which right now makes our life easier. But is that who we really want our child to be as an adult? Or do we want them to have their own voice, their own thoughts, to be an independent thinker, to stand up for themselves? Yes. So how do we foster that? So instead of thinking about it, how do I make my child obey and listen to me? Let's think about how do I create an environment that cultivates my child's ability to learn who they are and be confident in who they are and express who they are in a way that feels respectful and an understood, and we can understand. So how do we do this? Well, the first way thing we wanna do is we want to allow our kids to voice their opinions, even if they're different from ours without retribution. This does not mean you agree with it, but it means that they have the space to equally and openly express how they feel. This gives them the opportunity to grow their thought process, to work through their beliefs. What they believe today is not what they're gonna believe even in a month, but they've gotta have time to process and work that through. And they do that by hearing it outside, outside of their heads and getting that feedback. Now, if you don't like the way that they're delivering it, which often we don't, right? It's very snarky and disrespectful and rude. Rather than shutting them down and saying, don't talk to me that way, or listen to me, we want to say, I hear, it sounds to me, it seems like you're really upset. I want to understand, but I'm having trouble because I feel disrespected. Is there another way you can help me understand this? What we're doing is we're not shutting down what they're trying to say. We're just trying to coach them on how to say it in a better way. And that's really what we want our kids to do, right? But they're not going to learn if we just shut them down. We've got to help them and guide them. And they're going to mess up and do it poorly many times in a row, over and over and over again. We keep trying to recoach them on how to say it in a different way. The second thing is to understand that what feels like these stones and these roots that are getting in the way of them doing what we just want them to do, we want to understand what are those? What's getting in the way? And how do we help dig those up? Because with, if we ignore why they're not listening and we just repeat ourselves over and over and over again without understanding what is getting in the way, we're not accomplishing anything except for making us feel more disconnected. So what we wanna do is understand, okay, I'm trying to help here. What is frustrating you? What is getting, why can't you, let's say, you know, I just want you to help around the house. What's getting in your way? I just want you to clean your room. What's getting in your way? Let's understand that and help uproot that. Help understand what that is and solve that problem. Now they're learning to problem solve. And the final thing we want to do is if we want our kids to listen to us, the best way to do this is to model listening by listening to them. We spend so much time teaching our kids to talk, teaching them to read, teaching them to write, and we never teach them how to listen, nor do we do it very well ourselves, even if we think we are. Because we listen to reply, we don't listen to understand. And so if you want your kids to listen to understand you rather than just rebuttal, which is what they're learning from us, right? 
We want them to listen to understand. The only way to do that is to show them how by listening to understand them. And when they feel heard and they feel understood by us, that's when they'll start becoming open, not immediately. They'll start becoming open to listening to us too, because now they feel respected and they want to show that respect. So I finally did dig that trench up and I planted those flowers and I was dirty and sweaty and exhausted and I felt amazing because I had accomplished this really difficult task. And now I have these beautiful blooms I can look at right here, these beautiful blooms right outside my doorway that I get to enjoy every day. Of course, I still have to remember to water them and fertilize them and make sure that they continue to bloom every day so that they thrive. And that again is what we need to do with our kids. So I hope this helped in understanding why our teens are argumentative and the fact that we actually want to give them the space to allow them to voice themselves and just coach them on how they talk about and how they present their feelings rather than shutting them down. Until next time, have a peaceful, positive, calm day. And that's a wrap. Thanks for joining me today on Parenting Teens with Dr. Cam. Make sure to visit my website, www.askdrcam.com, where you can subscribe to the show in iTunes, Stitcher, or via RSS, so you'll never miss a show again. While you're at it, if you found value in this episode, I'd appreciate a rating on iTunes, and hey, why not share it with a friend too? Be sure to tune in to my next episode. And remember, parenting teens may not be easy, but with my help, it can be a whole lot easier than this.